Hello, my friends. I'm here to give you just a little refresher in case you're going to be new to the class this Friday. You want to find out what we did last week. Here are three of our warm up exercises. The first one is thumbs up. Oh, yeah. And what you want to do is learn how to switch just like this. Now, the first time you do it, it's very, very tricky stuff. But if you keep sticking to it, and you let yourself make mistakes, and you really focus, you'll figure out the right way to make it work for you. And then you'll have a moment of, oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! All right, so practice that. The next one is with our arms, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice with one arm, down, make sure you punch really good so it's a really clear movement. Down, up, out, 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 down. Whoo! Once you have that, you gotta do the other side. And this one is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And when you got both of those sides in there, shake it out and you're ready to do it together. It looks like this. All right, and use again. Down. So practice that. Why is it so hard? It's a brain break. You have two sides of your brain inside of your head. And this side works on this side of your body. And this side works on this side of the body. And there's a line right down the middle. And that's your midline. We have three of them. But for these exercises, this is the one that counts. You're trying to make both sides of your brain talk to both sides of your body, but telling them to do different things at the same time. Once you've learned it, that means you've created a new pathway in your brain, and that pathway works for all kinds of information. So it actually makes things like homework easier, talking to friends easier, riding your bike easier, playing sports easier, learning new stuff easier, because you have a whole new pathway inside of your head for information to travel on. So if you learn this, and then you learn this, You've just gotten way smarter. The other thing that we're going to work on is Crazy Jacks, but I'm sure that everybody else is going to need a little refresher on that, so you'll just have to wait till Friday. All right, I changed my mind. Crazy Jacks are a lot like jumping jacks, but they're different. We talked about that midline. There's another one that goes across here. You have your top and your bottom. We were working on your right and your left, but now we're working on your top and your bottom. Okay, so regular jumping jacks do this. You're doing the same thing with the top, and you're doing the same thing with the bottom, and the same with the right, and the same with the left. Crazy jacks are different. I'm only going to demonstrate it a couple of times, and then you have to do it on your own. All right, so the simple thing, your legs, it sounds like this. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. Okay? So let's do it again. Say it with me. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. It's going to be important for you to memorize that because that is what's going to help you when you put it all together. So with crazy jacks, your arms go up and down just like regular jumping jacks, but your legs do what we just learned, which is apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. And this is what it looks like when it's all together. My head's gonna get cut off because I don't have a lot of room. But here we go. Ready? Apart, together, together. I always mess it up. Here we go. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart, done. There it is. Ah, it's late, I'm tired, but I had to get that in there for you, all right? 
Next, juggling. Once you've made your juggling scarves, you're gonna have to take that scarf, keep your hands nice and wide, put one up here and throw it up there. And then down and up, down and up, up, down and up. It's much harder to do when you try and slow it down so you can teach people. All right, you wanna do this 30 times without messing up and make sure you've got your quacky duck. He's catching it. Up, catch, up, catch. You don't want it to be in front of your body. You don't want it to go over the top. You wanna go across your body. So it's all the way over there and let it go. Cross, cross, 30 times. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got halfway there. Make sure you do the second half before you start the next part. All right? The next part is with two scarves. So many people think that this is juggling two. Eh, that's not it. This is juggling two. So you have to use both hands to do different things. So this throws, this throws, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And it's really hard because one of your hands is thinking about throwing and catching at the same time. But slow down and do one, two, three, four. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now check this out. I have two different colors. So the yellow one is the one I like better, even though I decorated this one real nice. I'm always gonna start with the yellow one because that means I'm always gonna start with a different hand. Check it out. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch. Oh, I didn't do it. Did you see that? Did you catch me? Let's try again. Yellow, white, yellow, white. Yellow, white, yellow, white. Yellow, white, yellow, white. You know what it is? I'm looking at myself opposite there and it's very confusing. All right, I'm just gonna look at my hand. I'm not gonna say it. You can just see it. All right, so you always start with a different hand. And that means you're balancing out the two sides of your brain that we just talked about. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Ah, throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So it's left, right, right, left. Nope, that was my right hand. Anyway, you get the point. Practice, practice, practice. Come again on Friday, and we're gonna learn how to do three. See you soon.